We have a lot of people that'll call us saying that they've got pygmy rabbits in their backyard, but they're not. These are much smaller animals, and uh, they don't have the white tail, typical of a cottontail. Just a little tan brown rump is all you see. So they're about a fourth the size of a cottontail rabbit, yet this is a mature adult, and you can see its body is probably about as big as my hand, so they're pretty tiny. The rabbits are endangered because originally we had extensive sagebrush habitat in Washington that got fragmented when we um, broke it up for ranches and for farming and uh, cities and road development. So the habitat got fragmented and the populations got separated and then some of the smallest popul populations went extinct. When the wild rabbit population got down to probably less than 20 or 30 individuals, um, we felt it was necessary to rescue those last rabbits and bring them in so we could guarantee their survival. When a population gets too small, uh, anything can happen to wipe it out. And so they were the last individuals that we had a chance to salvage from the wild and save. So it was a rescue operation. WSU has been uh, the primary um, research agency. We've been studying these rabbits since at least 1999. And we've conducted some test releases of Idaho rabbits in Idaho so we could develop the re reintroduction techniques. And we've been studying their breeding behavior and biology and their um, survival rates. Pygmy rabbits turn out to be amazingly difficult to breed in captivity because we have to haul in the soil, uh, two or even three feet of soil, so that they can dig their burrows in and have, have their uh, young, their kits in the burrows. This is an absolute requirement for breeding, and so it makes it real difficult to manage that kind of thing in captivity. But we do it. Pygmy rabbits are, have a tough time because they live in a harsh desert environment, and they might start breeding in February or March, but uh, it seems like the most productive litters come out in April and May, so they have a short breeding season. And then there's very high kit mortality. There might only be 20 or 30 percent of the kits that make it to adults. So the survival rates are low, and the main problem that they face is having enough habitat to get out there to um, build their population and, and stay away from predators, and we think we can do that if we can restore enough habitat. We often get asked why is it important to save endangered species and pygmy rabbits, and um, they're a vital part of the food chain and the food system out there. Many different animals eat them, hawks, owls, coyotes, weasels, badgers, and so they're a really important part of the food chain, and we'd be missing something if they weren't there. And the other reason is kind of philosophical, but they were there thousands of years before we were, and we affected their habitat, so we kind of feel the obligation to go and put them back out there and, and let them live again.